been exactly one year since 51-year-old Willie Allen Turner was tragically shot and killed in the driveway of his Tibaha County home. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Selena Schaefer. Family members say it was a robbery that turned deadly. Now, a year later, the family is still searching for answers. Our Quentin Smith has an exclusive interview with the family. He joins us live in the studio with more. Selena, Willie Turner was a husband, a father, a brother, a son, and an uncle. It's been a long 12 months for his family without their loved one, and they tell me the hardest part for them to accept is the fact that his killer is still out on the streets. It's just hard. I, I, I just can't seem to shake today. The 4th of July holiday has a different meaning for Linda Turner Edmond. It's a raw reminder of the day her youngest brother, Willie Allen Turner, was tragically shot and killed. It's hard. It's hard. Even though I have great faith in God. But it's just hard. I wouldn't wish this position on anybody. <clears throat> I would just wouldn't wish them to be in this position. And I know we all have to leave here. But the fact that it's the manner in which his life was taken. Turner had his life taken by a bullet. Family members say he was robbed and then was shot and killed in his driveway just as he was getting ready to go inside his home. We want them to know that they didn't just take his money, but they took a tremendous person, a tremendous family member, and they took a tremendous person uh, from our community. Those close to Turner describe him as a hard worker and a kind-hearted person, someone who valued his community as well as his family. He was a hard-working person. He kept a job. Everything he owned, he worked for it hard. The family has relied on their faith to help them stay strong during this difficult time. And although a year has passed and no arrests have been made, the family is continuing its search for answers. We're just asking for closure for the family. Uh, we're asking for the person to turn themselves in. We don't want it to be a cold case. And we want everybody to know that he's not forgotten. We're not going to forget him. And we're not going to, to give up trying to find out who did it. Now the family is asking anyone with information on Turner's death to contact the Octibaha County Sheriff's Department or call Golden Triangle Crime Stoppers. Selena, back to you.